the dream of a flying car. It was a promise that was uh, an unfulfilled promise from childhood that we would all be in flying cars by now. And I, I'm convinced this is as close to, that I'll get to a flying car in my lifetime. This is Maria Del Camino. And so she's kind of a chimera Frankenstein between uh, 59 El Camino and this Komatsu excavator for the base. And then things are completely reconfigured and there's a custom boom assembly that connects the two together. And certainly the 59 El Camino, uh, which is you know, famous for the fins and Harley Earl, the designer at GM, who was responsible for the Cadillacs of the era and the lengthening, lowering and widening of cars, tail fins and all that. This was the last car he did for GM, and if there was ever a car that wanted to fly, it was the 59 El Camino. So it was a five-ton machine originally, and actually Maria, in it, her complete form, is still now five tons once again. Uh, so she's a big girl. The, the holes are all hand-drilled, and they form a, a half-tone image of the false Maria from the film Metropolis. And, and the, the, the basic uh, uh, premise that started that whole idea was that the car, as I found it, was a complete rust bucket and it was too far shot to be restored into a, a, a car of any value. So the idea was to take it the other direction and turn, turn her into a ghost of herself. It's a beast! <laughs> and so I wanted to perforate the body and so then the question came up, well, if I'm going to perforate the body, then what pattern would I use? I had always been inspired by the film Metropolis and, and the robot woman, or actually, as Fritz Lang called it, the robot machine man, but I call her the false Maria, hence the name Maria del Camino. Really, you know, the best thing about it and one of the reasons I created it was to ride with friends, a group of friends in the car and being up off the earth, there's something quite uh, sublime uh, in, in that sense.